Hey friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. Today I'm going to show you how I installed a mini split air conditioning system in this trailer. I won't show you the step by step process because I've already installed it, but I'll tell you how I did it. Very energy efficient and wonderful results. Let's get started. I installed a 12,000 BTU Pioneer mini split system on this trailer. And what I did is I removed everything off the tongue. I had the uh, battery box right here. I had propane tanks back here. We're no longer using the propane tanks as I'm going everything electric. So the gas stove and now the heating is all gonna be electric. This is a heat pump AC. So it's um, heater and air conditioning. So what I did is I took a one and five eighths unit strut, bolted it directly to the frame with 5 16 tech screws. They're self-drilling, self-tapping tech screws. And then I used five or uh, three eighths bolts with lock nuts, not all nut nuts, on here. And it made it nice and tight. A good installation, nice and solid. So it's not gonna go anywhere. But uh, this trailer is remaining on the property for now. And so, but even if it's traveling, uh, what I would do is make a custom vinyl or cloth cover to go over it to keep rocks from hitting the uh, unit as you're traveling down the road. That's something you can do to cover it while you're traveling. We're not traveling with this trailer, so we don't need to make that. Here are the connections on this side of the, of the unit. I have my line set coming out of from underneath the trailer. I cut a hole with a hole saw through the metal frame, fit that real nicely there, and then atta do the attachments. Right now, I temporarily have this uh, running with an extension cord. Later on, we'll go ahead and hook it into the circuitry of the trailer. But it really, really worked out well. And uh, the line sets are underneath here, okay? They're screwed to the bottom of the floor, you know, so one, one hole strap for each one in the middle there. Conform it over there is a hole in the floor with a two and a half inch hole saw where the line set goes in and through in, in through the floor and into the bedroom. So I will go ahead and take you inside and we'll show you the inside installation of the inside evaporator unit. But it worked out really, really nice. It uh, is all the line sets hidden. I go through that uh, hole in the frame. And this unit is currently running on AC right now. It's only, uh, what? high 70s today but it's still running a little bit to keep the air circulating it does a really good job um, we have this custom made solar shade cut structure I have it in another video that took the temperatures and dropped them off the exterior of the skin of the of the trailer to really help with our AC bill on this thing uh, the, it struggled with the air conditioning when we had the temperatures of the skin roughly 120 125 degrees in the heat of the day in our area, in our summers, we commonly get over 100 degrees, sometimes over 110, 115. So when we get to those 105 degree plus days, without that being shaded, it struggles. So take a look at the video showing how I made this custom shade structure. It came out really, really nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside unit here real quick. And I just wanna show you that sometimes installing these on the front tongue works out really well. Here is the inside unit and we have it mounted in the bedroom. The line set comes with 16 foot line sets and the um, I needed about 15 feet so it was perfect line set length for where we placed this unit. If you have to go further than 16 feet you're going to have to buy some extra copper tubing and flare fittings and flaring tools and you know I have all that and I've done it many times it works well but you have to practice and get get good at making those flares there's some good videos on YouTube about how to flare copper tubing so I would check that out before you decide to go further than 16 feet and see if you can actually um, add uh, copper tubing to your existing line set this unit is a sear 20 rating which is really high it's very efficient so sear 20 is really good um, so we do save a lot on utility in that regard uh, and then we have also the heater mode which it is on right now it's actually um, on heater heater mode today and uh, that 
eliminates our propane uh, usage for propane heating in the trailer which we've gotten rid of everything so this is what we really needed to do to have an efficient AC and heating system now to install this uh, they, you, it comes with a backing plate and uh, you're gonna have to put lots of screws in ideally if you can find a uh, a stud which you have in that distance your studs on these trailers are every 16 inches so you, if you can find a stud put the, um, the screws along that stud on that plate and then um, add screws like I did just into the, the to the um, the veneer plywood it's actually about an eighth inch thick um, uh, panel boards so it doesn't have a real good bite but if you have a stud then then it, then it holds just perfectly perfectly fine that's where I set it and it's not that hard of install just make sure you do the the, um, the line sets according to directions uh, I bought a, um, a torque wrench for AC uh, line sets so AC fittings I have a torque wrench for that it's recommended I see guys do it without the uh, torque wrench and and I think you know you're gonna over tighten it or under tighten it and, you, and you're gonna have leaks I use sealant on the flare fittings uh, you can get that online for it's an AC flare fitting sealant and you put a little light coating on that on the copper and it takes care of any micro scratches which can cause a leak at 400 PSI. Alright, uh, one more thing I would recommend is the um, this trailer is not being moved off of property so I'm not worried about traveling with this thing bouncing around. If The way this is mounted the unit is on a plate and if it if it bounces around on the road and it bounces up it could fall off so what I recommend is putting a um, you know find a stud or use the toggle bolts whatever you can do and at least one strap in the middle I would put a what's called a lashing strap and put two hooks one up here one down below and of course I showed you the line set cover that I did on this unit and covered those lines I have a video for that so that the line sets go down that wall and through the floor so if you look at the other video you can see how you can build that custom line set cover uh, which is a really nice uh, finish to the uh, to the project okay so I hope this all helps and I uh, would highly recommend mini split systems for your trailer they have um, the great heating and, and, and uh, air conditioning very efficient and uh, I tell you they work very well so you guys have a blessed day I sure hope you enjoyed this video and it was a help to you please like subscribe and share also hit that notification bell to be notified of weekly videos I pray that you are blessed and that you know him who is the author of life